everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to give you a tour of two digital planners that are going to be great for 2026. They are both Google Sheets templates and they have been in my shop for a while now, but every year I get questions about the difference between both versions. So I figured with the new year coming up that I would just make an updated video walking you through the difference between both files. So first I'm going to walk you through the monthly planner. I'm going to walk you through how it looks like, what it does, and then we're going to go through the annual planner. So let's get into it. So this is what the monthly version looks like when you first receive it. It's completely blank and you get one monthly calendar tab that looks like this. And then you get six weekly tabs that look and work exactly the same way. They all have room for a daily schedule, a daily to-do list, room for gratitude and space for notes. And then at the very end, you also have a weekly habit tracker. So all of these six weeks look and work exactly the same way. So the way this works is at the start of each month, you're going to create a new blank copy of the template and you're going to jump into the customize here tab and you're going to set the month and the year that you're going to be working with and this will keep on working any month any year the template is not tied to any particular date so i'm going to set january 2026 for the example then you're going to decide the time at which you want your daily schedules to begin and you're going to set if your weeks should start on sunday or monday and once you fill this out you're going to notice that dates throughout the template are going to update accordingly and your daily schedules are going to start at the time that you selected so once you've customized those settings you can start working on your template and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to jump into the calendar tab and you're going to create a general overview of what your month is going to look like so you're going to use this to add your top goals for the month and then down here your most important tasks and in the calendar you're going to add any relevant dates and it's very simple all you're going to do is type in your events directly into the calendar so let's say our anniversary for example and you can leave it like that just plain text or you can play around with the styling to make it prettier you could select multiple cells and merge them together you could change the background color and you can even add emojis if you wanted to so you can make it as simple or as pretty as you want and this is what it could end up looking like so you add your goals you have your to-do list and then you have your relevant events so after you create the general overview of your month you can start working on each individual week so i'm going to jump into the first week and this is what it's going to look like empty so you're going to start by adding your most important tasks for the week you have room for secondary tasks and then you have your daily schedules your daily to-do lists a space for gratitude and room for notes so this is what it could end up looking like. So similar to what we did before in the calendar, you can either keep your schedules simple so that they look something like this, or you can play around merging cells and changing background colors to give it your own personal style. You can also merge big blocks of cells and then create big blocks of time and then maybe add in individual events. So how you use this is totally up to you. It can be as simple or as pretty and detailed and styled as you want. And then as you can see in the daily schedule, you'll find a category drop down these are just examples that I added you can actually customize these categories so they become whatever you want and you do that in the customize here tab so you jump in here and then if you want to add a new category you're going to do it down here let's just do new category and then what's going to happen is you're going to find that in every single one of your drop downs and then if you scroll down below each individual day, you're also going to find a daily to-do list. So you can assign a priority to each task. Again, you can assign one of your categories and then you add your task. And once you mark a task as done, as you can see, the text is automatically crossed out and the progress bar also moves automatically. And then down below, you have room for gratitude and room for notes. And this is a free space if you don't want to use it for gratitude or notes and you want to use it for something else, maybe meals, workouts, you can go ahead and do that. So there's seven days on each weekly tab and they all work exactly the same way. You have to scroll to the right to find them. And then at the very end of the tab, you're going to find your habit tracker. So this first section up here has room for 21 habits. So you can add whatever habits you want in here. And then once you check the box, you're going to see that the progress bars move automatically. And then if you scroll down, you're going to find room for five numeric trackers. So you can use this to track things like the number of hours that you slept, the number of pages that you read, your movement 
mood so I added some examples but you can use this however you prefer initially each of these trackers will look like this they'll be completely empty so all you have to do is add in your values and you'll see the progress bars update automatically so this is optional and as I mentioned the template includes six weekly tabs and every single one of them looks and works exactly the same way and since this is a monthly template once the month is over you're gonna have to start fresh on a new blank copy of the file so you're gonna save a blank version of the spreadsheet in your Google Drive and then every month you're gonna jump into that version you're gonna click on file make a copy and then you're gonna create a new blank copy of the template you're gonna jump into the customize here tab you're gonna set your new month you're gonna set the year and then you can go ahead and start over so the monthly version is great if you want to keep one file for each month and have that feeling of a clean slate and a fresh start every month and using the monthly version would mean that you would end up with 12 separate files at the end of every year now if you would prefer to plan all 12 months in a single file then you're going to use the annual version instead so let me give you a tour of what the annual version looks like and how it works so this is going to be a much bigger file it includes 39 tabs you can find them all down here so the first one is the customize here tab this is where you're going to customize your template your settings and then you have a quick links tab so you can easily jump through your tabs without having to go down here and scroll and then you have this 12 month calendar where you can set your top goals for each month and then each of your 12 months is going to have three tabs the first one is the calendar tab that looks like this then you have a daily planner looks like this and then you have a habit tracker so each of your months gets these three tabs and you can use the quick links section to easily navigate between them and what's cool about this template is that this is a 12 month planner but it can start on absolutely any month that you want so all you have to do is set the month and the year in which you want your template to begin it will keep on working any year and then dates throughout the template are going to be filled in automatically according to that first month that you set so I'm just going to jump back and make it start on January 2026 for the example so the way you're going to use this template is at the beginning of every month you're going to jump into the corresponding monthly calendar tab let's say January and you're going to create a general overview of your month now what you're going to find on these calendar tabs is two different calendar layouts so the first layout the way it works is instead of adding your events directly into the calendar you're going to add them in this list so let's say I want to add an event on the 9th I'm going to jump into this table and I'm going to add two things I'm going to add the number 9 over here and then my event over here I'm not going to touch this because the full date is going to be displayed automatically based on the month and the year so if I only add the number nine the full date is going to show up automatically and then I can add my new event and it'll show up in the calendar so on this first layout you add your events over here and they will automatically show up in the calendar you can add them in any order that you want and then you can use this list over here and view them sorted by either date or or event and then if you would prefer to type in your events directly in the calendar and then style it and make it pretty you can use this second calendar layout that works exactly the same way as the one in the monthly version so in the second layout you add your events directly in the calendar and then in the first layout you use this list to add your events and then those events will be displayed automatically in the calendar right next to it so you get both calendar layouts each month and you can use them however you prefer both of them are optional you can choose to use only one of them or you can use them both totally up to you but there is one bonus feature that you get when you use this first layout and it's that whatever events you add here will also be displayed on that month's daily planner so every month gets a daily planner if I jump into the one for January and then I use these links to jump into the ninth which is where I added that example event and I scroll down into the important events section you're gonna find that event that that I added in the calendar over here is being displayed here. So this is a feature that you only get in the annual version, whatever you add in here shows up in the corresponding day on the important events section in your daily planners so that's a cool feature that is only included in the annual version and then the rest of this tab the rest of the daily planner works pretty much the same way as the one in the monthly version you get your daily schedules again you can play around merging cells and changing background colors to make it pretty or you can keep it simple these daily schedules can start at any time that you want you set that in the customize here tab you pick a start time 
6 a.m., for example, and that will update the start time on every single one of your daily planners for every single month. You can also customize your categories. Again, you do that in the Customize Here tab. And then if you scroll down below each day, you also get a daily to-do list a space for gratitude and room for notes. And since this is a monthly tab, you're going to get the entire month. So as you can see, it starts on the 1st and it ends on the 31st. And to help you navigate this without having to scroll, you can use the links in this calendar right here to jump into a specific day. So right now I'm looking at the 20th. If I wanted to quickly jump into the 1st, I can use this link. So having this calendar be linked to each individual day is a feature that's unique to the annual version because there are 31 days in a single tab and that would be a lot of scrolling so it's easier to just use the links right here and then every single month also gets its own individual habit tracker tab and this habit tracker is more advanced than the one you're going to find in the monthly version and it has three sections so you get a section for your daily habits you get a section for the habits that you only want to get done a couple of times per week and then numeric trackers and when it's blank it's going to look something like this so you get to create your own list of habits on every section and then you're going to use the checkboxes to track your progress so on the first section you're going to reach 100% every week when you check every single box so as you can see as I'm checking boxes I'm reaching 100% and then on the other habits section you're going to reach 100% when you check the same number of boxes that you set as your goal so date night for example my goal is to do that one time per week so as soon as I check one box every single week I'm going to reach 100% on that week. And finally, you get a section for numeric trackers that can be the number of pages that you read, the number of hours that you slept, your mood. So you can add your mood. For example, you set a goal for every single day. Let's say I want to rate it from 1 to 10. And so every day you're just going to come in here and you're going to add your actual values and you're going to see how the progress bars update automatically. So every single month works exactly the same way. It starts on the first day of the month, whatever day of the week that is, and then it's it's going to end on the very last day of the month and in the end you'll find some monthly stats that are going to summarize your progress on each section. So as I mentioned before this is a 12 month template and each month gets a calendar tab that looks like this, a daily planner that looks like this and then a habit tracker and you can use the quick link section to easily navigate between all of those tabs and this template is not tied to any particular year. It will work with any start month, any year. All you have to do is select the month in which you want your template to begin. You set the year. Dates will be updated automatically throughout the template. You can go ahead, you can start working on it. And then once you're done with these 12 months, you're going to start over on a new file. So again, you're going to save a blank version of the template so that you can use it every year to create a new blank copy and start fresh. So the main difference between both versions is that in this annual version, you're going to end up with one file per year. And then in the monthly version, you're going to end up with 12 separate monthly files per year. So that's the main difference. And then there's also those couple additional features that I mentioned in the annual version. So whichever one you use is entirely up to you. If you prefer to plan the entire year in a single file, I would go for the annual version. And if you like that feeling of a fresh start at the beginning of the month and something more simple then I would go for the monthly version and both versions are available in pink and I also created them in black and white if you're not into pink so I will leave all four versions linked in the description down below and if you would like to learn more about how each template works I also have individual full tour videos for each one so I'm also going to leave those linked in the description and if you have any questions please feel free to reach out and I will be happy to answer them I will leave my email in the description as well so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.